Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It comes in 148 scale and you can notice that it copies uh, Japanese fighter, it's A6M3 zero type 32 and it comes in 148 scale as a profit pack so it might be an interesting choice for modellers who would like to copy this famous aircraft in a relatively reasonable sizing and as you can see we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and box art here is the first thing I would like to note because we have not only the A6M3 but we also have P38 and maybe it would be a cool thing to combine it together with the recent, recent release from Tamiya. I hope we will review it as well, so stay tuned. But today we are talking about this particular model. And box size is typical for Edward, so here you can see comparison with my hand. As I said, box art is really nice, and I suppose that Edward also offers it as a poster in case you would like to put it on your wall. Then on the side here we have some information about the manufacturer, we have some safety advices. By the way, the kit number is 82213. And on the opposite side you can find five marking options which are included here. So we will check them later when we will be taking a look at the assembly manual. So this is a top opening box. It's quite easy to open and here is what we have inside. Everything is packed into separate plastic bags. So it should be easy to check all these parts because they are resealable plastic bags and only the clear parts are supplied in the Ziploc bag. So just give me a second. Okay, we are going to start with the clear sprue because as you saw it was on the top. We have here a rectangular frame and here we get all the canopy parts. Obviously you can copy the open cockpit, as you can see we have the separate sections. Molding quality looks really great, I don't have any complaints about it here. And I think it will be a relatively easy think to assemble everything together because we have the masks included this is a profit pack so that's why it will be a um, really straightforward thing to do next we continue with another plastic bag this one is resealable as you can hear and here we have first gray plastic spruce so just give me a second first of all we are going to start with the wing parts I will place them like this. Let's zoom out first. So here you can take a closer look. First of all, I have to know that the flaps here are pre-molded. So in case you would like to have them retracted, you will have to get the additional PE set from Edward. And it will require some additional investment to be done from your side. But note that ailerons are molded separately. And if we zoom in, here you can take a closer look at the external features, so we have recessed panel lines and rivets. The same applies here, so as you can see everything looks really great. And it's just a matter of careful painting so that you won't erase all these features. And if you flip it over here on the flaps area, you can see that we have special thinned areas. So it will be easier to cut off these uh, sections. And we also have some minor features for the main wheel wells. But the main section of the wheel wells will be assembled separately and then inserted in between wing panels. So do not be worried. We have actually more things copied out of the box. Next we continue with the fuselage halves, so both are molded together with a tail fin, but the cooling area should be assembled separately. And again, external features are pretty much the same as what we saw on the wings, so I suppose we can zoom in so that you can take a closer look. Let's put the whole fuselage half into the frame. And as you can see, uh, for this scale I think the external features look really good. The same applies to these cooling panels. Maybe with the cooling you will have to be careful while joining them together because you will have somehow to avoid the possible seams and gaps between two uh, halves. Tail wings should be glued out of two halves as well. Here we have uh, one pair and here is another one. And then here we have some parts for the exhausts and for the engine. But you will see more parts on the next sprue so stay tuned because now we turn over the sprue and here we have some cockpit features. So as you can see these are basic details or framing for the cockpit walls while all other things will be added as a separate parts. We also have guiding elements here for the fuselage parts so it will be helpful in order to combine them together. 
Next we continue with the mix of various parts. I guess we won't be zooming out first because here it's worth taking a look at all these tiny parts. We have here a mix of parts for the main wheel wells, for the cockpit and also for the engine bay. So it's really surprising to see that many features for out of the box, let's say details. So the only thing required from you is to carefully assembly, assemble everything together and maybe paint and weather, especially the engine and the cockpit, because they are somewhat visible on the Zero aircraft. And I think even if you decide not to open the canopy still, it will be a noticeable change if you play with some weathering ideas, maybe with washes in order to make the overall appearance a bit more realistic. And if I flip it over here, you can check these parts from the opposite side. So everything looks fine. As you saw, that molding quality is clean and we do not have any molding issues whatsoever. Next, we continue with one more plastic sprue. I guess this one is specific for the new version for this Type 32. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong because I am not that huge specialist in the Zero aircraft. But here we have the new cockpit parts. We have also fuel tank which will be placed under the fuselage. We have new cooling panels and also I can see propeller, propeller hub, landing gear wheels. But in order to check all this stuff closer, let's zoom in, maybe open the lenses a bit and now you can see all these panels in a bit closer view so everything is molded as nice as on the previous frames do not forget that for example cockpit engine winding gear wheels they can be replaced with brushing set from edward obviously it will cost additional money but it will bring more features and such i would say addition makes sense in 148 scale because it will be a noticeable change even again if you is plan to keep the canopy closed still it will be noticeable so that's something to consider but it's also worth remembering that it will be quite demanding for your skills level and if you are not that i would say good with resin and p parts i would be careful because you can end up with a funny result or even not finished work next we continue with the bonuses for this profit pack so they include First of all, this pre-cut mask shit. So this one will be handy not only for the canopy, which is quite, I would say, sophisticated on the zero. So this is a welcome bonus, but we also have decals for the landing gear wheels, which is also a handy thing because as you remember, we have landing gear wheels as a single piece part with separate wheel rims from one side. Next, we continue with the P fret. So this one comes as a pre-painted P fret and here we have parts both for the cockpit and also for the external features we also have glazing over the dials as you can see so everything looks cool and it's just a matter of careful installation i know that some of you were writing in the previous reviews that p parts might be tricky due to the um, bad eyesight or maybe some issues due to the age so usually edward includes some additional things in form of decals so now we will check the decals there are two decal sheets, both are printed in Edward, so first one is dedicated to the stencils as you can see and if I zoom in here you can take a closer look. Printing quality is really nice so there is nothing to complain about here. And one more thing is the a bit bigger decal sheet which is dedicated to the main symbols. So here we will have to zoom out so that you can understand what you are talking about. So we have main symbols and we also have this uh, dials and various cockpit decals. Unfortunately we do not have seat belts decals so in case you would like to have seat belts you will have to use PE parts or maybe get the look set which might be handy as well. And last but not the least is the assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of large brochure. I will have to close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that bright for your eyes. But as you can see, it's a traditional format for Edward. We have short history note on the first page. Next, we continue with the parts map and assembly process starts actually with the cockpit walls. Note that some parts have to be modified in order to house the P parts. So pay attention on what you have to delete what you have to send off and of course the final choice is after you 
maybe you would like to stay with the original plastic parts maybe it's a bit too tricky for you to get the PE parts in place but as I say the PE parts considerably change the appearance of the cockpit and for some modelers it might be more than enough especially considering the fact that you get it out of the box Next we continue with the wing assembly here, so as you can see then we join it together with the fuselage, we assemble the engine, next we continue with the cooling and then we continue with landing gear and here, by the way landing gear can be assembled only in the retracted position, next we continue with under fuselage fuel tank, propeller, uh, canopy and here you have to decide whether you would like to have open or closed canopy and of course the masks application guide so as I said you have masks for the landing gear wheels you have them also for the canopy and the first marking option comes from April 1943 next we continue with traditional white or gray aircraft so they are coming from August 1942 and September 1942 and next here we continue with the aircraft from October 1942, one more from September 1944 and here we have the stencils application guide for all aircraft so I recommend to apply them all because it will only benefit the overall appearance of your aircraft. So this kit should be already available, you can get it on official AdWord website together with all the necessary add-ons you would like to have on this model. Of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about this release, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.